Hello, M&M's kids. This is uh, Pastor Travis, hoping you are well today. Today, I'd like to share a little bit about the Christmas story. Now, during Christmas, we talk a lot about uh, things like Santa Claus, you know, how Santa Claus you know, comes and brings us gifts, and we hear all those stories about Santa Claus and the reindeer. But there's a bigger story that takes place at Christmas. Many of you know that Christmas is the time when Jesus was born. A lot of ways, uh, December 25th, uh, Christmas, is Jesus' birthday. And many people even call it that, that it's his birthday. And we celebrate how awesome it is that Jesus was born you know, on that day. That's why we have the holiday of Christmas. Now, there's a lot of things that we expect with Christmas. There's probably traditions that you do with your mom or your dad or your grandparents or aunt and uncles, uh, traditions that you do at home to celebrate. Now, one of those traditions is the giving of gifts. Uh, another tradition is uh, uh, eating a meal together. And for some families, it's getting together and playing games. We also celebrate Christmas in the church. You know, usually we have a, you know, either a Christmas Eve service or a Christmas Day service, depending on the year. And those are special traditions, special things to remember at this time of year. However, the story of Jesus' birth is the most important part of Christmas. So I'm going to read a little bit here out of the Bible. It's a part of the Bible that concerns Jesus's birth, but it's actually more about the people who first heard about Jesus being born. Now, many of you uh, take care of animals, have animals you take care of at home, or you know someone who takes care of animals, and you know how hard a work it is, and also how it can be really dirty work. It also can be work that is um, difficult to do. But Jesus, the news of Jesus's birth, first came to those who were caring for animals. They were called shepherds. So I'm going to read a little bit of the Bible here. And we're in the, the book of Luke, which is one of the Gospels in chapter 2. And I'm going to read verses 8 through 20. So if you have a Bible handy, I would encourage you to, to look that up or have mom and dad or your grandparents help you find where that is in the Bible. Uh, I will read it here, uh, but I would encourage you to read it on your own at another time. So I invite you to hear these words starting at verse 8 of chapter 2 out of Luke. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. So in this story, with the birth of Jesus, it was first told, you know, outside of Mary and Joseph, you know, Jesus' parents, outside of Jesus' parents, the first people to find out were shepherds. Now, I mentioned a moment ago that uh, caring for animals can often be dirty work, can be hard work. It's also good work. It's important work to have done. But if you think about 
When you hear the news of a baby being born and you go to see that baby, usually you don't go immediately after taking care of the animals. You might wash your hands first or maybe take a bath or a shower so you're clean when you go see the baby. But here's what's amazing about Jesus and how it was told that he was born. The shepherds, if you notice, they didn't stop to get cleaned up or anything. They went as they were. They went as, like they had come straight out of the field. They were, you know, had been working and they went after hearing about the birth of Jesus. They went immediately to see Jesus. Why that is important is they knew how special it was that Jesus was being born that he was born, that Jesus was in the world. But this also tells us a little bit about God, about how God sees us. Now, by many, the shepherds were not cared for. A lot of folks didn't like shepherds. They didn't like how they smelled, how, how they worked, how they had to work with animals. Uh, they just were not seen as uh, people that, you know, were particularly cared for, particularly liked. But God takes the people who are seen not as all that great by other people, takes people whom we may see as outcasts. They're on the outside. God sees them and tells them first about the birth of Jesus. And that's important to remember. Instead of the news about Jesus being born, given to a king, given to Caesar, given to somebody who had a great status first, it was given to people who were seen on the outside. This matters because God sees everybody and values everyone, especially those who are on perhaps the outside of everyday life, those who are not seen, those who might be, you know, a bit dirty, might have to work really hard, might have to, you know, live a little differently. God sees those people. And what's important is God sees us as well and loves us and wants us to know about the birth of Jesus. The birth of Jesus is so important. It's why we have Christmas. This is why we celebrate Christmas, is for the birth of Jesus. And we see God working in this unusual way, so all may know Jesus. Instead of starting at the top, you know, God starts with those who are the everyday folks, people who are working hard and shares that message of hope and love first with those who may not have as much love in their lives. God values everyone. God values and loves each and every one of us. For me, this is a tradition that I want to celebrate every Christmas. All the other stories that we share about Santa, about the reindeer, about Frosty, you know, with the gift giving and spending time with family, those things, they're, they're special. They're a part of the season. But the birth of Jesus, that is the most important thing. So as you're celebrating Christmas this year, I encourage you to reflect and to think about how important it is that we celebrate the birth of Jesus. How important it is that we celebrate God's love and that we remember how God loves all of us. How God loves everybody. I'd also encourage you to read Luke 2, Luke chapter 2 with your families, especially uh, on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day when you have time to do that. Uh, uh, it's important to do that, to read that story. So my hope for you is that you know this Christmas how much you are loved by God, how much, how much so many people in your lives love you and care for you. And I hope most of all 
that you have a wonderful, merry, and happy Christmas. I know that God loves you, I love you, and so many people in your lives love you. So Merry Christmas, and I look forward to being with you again.